Hello everyone. Welcome to another demo of the MCP gateway and registry tool. Now, while MCP simplifies tool access for agents and provides them easy access to data and internal and external APIs, several critical problems still remain uh, for MCP to realize its promise in the enterprise uh, at the enterprise scale. Now, these uh, problems relate to service discovery, how do developers find access to MCP, uh, find and access MCP servers, governed access to the MCP servers. But the two more important problems problems that we are going to be dealing with in this demo are tool selection and dynamic tool discovery. So tool selection uh, means that I, as an AI agent developer, um, how do I find out which tools to add to my AI agent? Like there may be many tools available uh, out of the hundreds of tools that my MCP registry provides me access to. How do I find that these are the specific ones that I need so that I can add those tools to my agent while I am building that agent? And then the second part or the second variant of that problem is dynamic tool discovery. Let's say I created an agent by providing it a bunch of tools that I thought were uh, sufficient for it to accomplish uh, the task that I'm providing it. But then let's say it's presented with a new task for which none of the tools that it currently has access to, uh, which were added to it while the agent was created, uh, are sufficient. And therefore, can this agent through the MCP registry, discover new tools and not only discover new tools, but also invoke these tools that it just learned about. So that really this part, this dynamic tool invocation part really gives uh, additional ability to agents and help us create general purpose AI agents, which uh, whose capability are, are really not limited by whatever tools we provide at um, the time of creating these agents. But as you keep on adding new MCP servers and new tools that are discover discoverable through the MCP registry, your agent can suddenly accomplish more and more and newer things. Let's see this in action. Uh, before we go there, uh, let's uh, review the MCP gateway and registry user interface. So this is the MCP registry um, that we have, and currently it has access to these few MCP servers. And I'll just point out that the MCP registry is itself accessible as an MCP server. This is the MCP gateway and tools MCP server. And this is the um, MCP server. This is technically the only MCP server that you want to be a, want to add to your agents because through this MCP server, your agent can discover new tools. Let's uh, see this in action. You can either use cursor to do this, or you can also do this in VS Code. Uh, we'll see both of them for uh, a little bit. Uh, so let's look at cursor first, just to have a quick illustration of this. So I have added in my MCP uh, in my cursor configuration. I have added uh, this MCP registry. MCP server, and through this, it's able to see that these are the tools uh, that the registry itself provides. Now, the tool that we are currently uh, talking about is the Intelligent Tool Finder tool. What it does is, given a natural language query, it is able to figure out, hey, out of the hundreds of MCP servers and the thousands of tools that I may have access to, which uh, are the tools that are most relevant to the query at hand. It will then, as its response, provide the MCP server name, uh, the name of the tool, the schema with which to invoke the tool, all this information can then be used by the agent to, to dynamically invoke this tool. This information can also be used by an agent developer um, to add this tool directly while creating the agent. So both those scenarios are possible. Agents can use this at runtime to learn about and invoke tools, tools dynamically, as well as AI agent developers can use this information at uh, software building time to add, add the relevant tools to their uh, to their MCP servers. Now here I have a quick example that I already ran where I said, do I have access to a tool to de determine the current time? So it calls the intelligent tool finder tool um, and says, hey, uh, tool to determine current time. And it's able to provide me the schema and uh, server name, et cetera, of the current time tool which I as an agent developer can then add to my agent. But let's look at a demo of uh, the other more interesting case. Let me just clear this out. Uh, where an agent is dynamically able to discover new tools and invoke new tools. Now this uh, agent.py file, it's included in the repository. It is a very simple agent. It's a general purpose agent where um, I say, hey, you are a AI assistant and uh, you use the set of available tools that you have to answer user questions, but but you also have a tool discovery and invocation wow. workflow where if uh, you have to invoke a tool that you uh, 
you have to invoke, learn about a new tool that you did not have access to. How do you do that through the intelligent tool finder? And then how do you invoke that tool? So um, that that's that's all I have uh, in terms of the setup of this. Okay. So now, um, so my AI agent here, this is a Langra created agent. It has access to this uh, MCP server. The only MCP server that it has is the MCP registry. And uh, I've added two tools to my agent. One is a calculator tool just for fun. And then there is this invoke MCP tool. The invoke MCP tool is a tool locally added to this agent, which given the, let's actually look at it, which given the name of the server, the the name of the server, the tool name, and the arguments can invoke any tool that the agent can dynamically learn about. So let's see that. And then um, let's keep going. So that's that's what the setup is. And then it can learn about some tools uh, dynamically. So suppose I asked my agent. Um, is 56 times 67. So for this, it should be able to use the calculator tool and there, there should be no MCP tool required. And that's what we will see it happen. So it says, hey, I, uh, I'll use the calculator tool and it uses that tool and provides me the answer. Now I'm not double checking this, but let's just assume that this is uh, that this is correct. But what I want to draw your attention to is that these were the available MCP tools uh, to the agent through the registry, but the one that we are interested in is, is the intelligent tool finder. Now, in the next example that we take, this tool will get used. So let's see. So now let me ask my agent, um, compare uh, the stock performance for NVIDIA and Apple in the last. So now clearly my agent at a uh, building time has no access to any tool that can tell it about uh, any sort of stock information, but the MCP registry does have access. Just let me just go here. Does have access to this financial information uh, tool, which has uh, financial information MCP server, which has access to these two tools, and they can be used to answer this question. So the intent of our demo is that this agent will use the intelligent tool finder available through the MCP registry to discover tools in this financial information uh, MCP server and then invoke those tools. So it will first learn about tools that it never knew existed and then it will invoke those tools to accomplish user tasks. So let's see this in action. So I'm going to run this and it will go through that same um, process. Once the responses get printed, we will be able to see that it uh, used the intelligent tool finder to find a tool that it has uh, that it needed to invoke and then invoke those tools. So we are already seeing that it is trying to talk to the Fininfo uh, MCP server, which it never knew about. So this is so we here we have the response. Now the response actually here isn't really important. The important thing is if we scroll up to understand how the agent uh, went about um, solving this problem. So it says that, hey, I will help you find a tool to retrieve stock performance. Uh, let me use the intelligent tool finder to find the appropriate tool, right? So it knew that it does not have access to any such tool, but it needs to invoke the intelligent tool finder. So it does that. It provides this natural language query. Uh, it gets a response. So, so stock performance, it gets this response that, hey, I can use this get stock aggregates tool. So it gets the entire schema of the tool that can potentially answer this question. Uh, the name of the MCP server uh, on which this tool is hosted, the name of the tool itself, and it, we also have a similarity score. I mean, we can print out uh, the other information as well, but this information is sufficient for it to then invoke uh, this tool, uh, then use the invoke MCP tool to actually invoke this remote, uh, uh, you know, financial information server. So now it says, now I'll retrieve the stock performance for NVIDIA and Apple over the last one week. I'll use the current date as reference. It has uh, access to it through its system prompt. It says, I'll use this current date as reference. And now it calls the invoke MCP tool. And through the invoke MCP tool, it says, 
this is the name of the server, the slash fin info. This is the name of the tool to use. This, these are the arguments to use. Now, every single thing that it is doing here, it learned as part of the output provided by the intelligent tool finder. So it's going to do this for NVIDIA. So we see the responses back, and then it's going to do the same thing for, uh, uh, for Apple right here get the responses back and then you know it combines those responses to say hey this is the breakdown of the comparison here and then provide some key uh, observation so in this example so that concludes this example in this example we saw that it figured out i did not have access to a particular tool let me find out a tool that can help me through the mcp registry got the schema of that tool then invoke that tool through the invoke mcp tool and provided the answer so in this way I have access to an agent which potentially has access to, in a manner of speaking, limitless capabilities because as more tools, as I keep on adding uh, MCP servers and tools here in the registry, all those MCP servers and tools suddenly become available to this simple agent that I have and it can accomplish a lot of tasks. So that was a short demo of the latest uh, capability additions to the uh, MCP Gateway and Registry project. So do check it out. And um, just a reminder, the Gateway and Registry is now also available as an EKS uh, application. So there are links over here which uh, which describe how to do that. So do, uh, do check those out. So installation on EC2, and then uh, there is uh, installation on EKS as well. So do check those out. Thank you.